uh, top rank Bob Arum for giving us the opportunity again. And uh, I want to thank uh, Team Pacquiao. You know, it's, it's a pleasure sharing the ring with them again, one more time. Uh, I just think that we have uh, unfinished business. And, uh, you know, April 12th, uh, we're going to give the people what they really want to see. We are ready. We are ready to make this fight clear. We're here, we're going to prepare 100%. Uh, Tim Brad is going to be ready to win and give the people what they want to see, what they didn't see in the first one. Um, thank, thanks to the media, thanks Tim Bradley, my family, and everybody here, and just look forward to a great fight. Guarantee you guys, it's going to be a great one. Thanks to Manny, I have been able to experience and uh, feel uh, the fighting spirit of the Filipino people. As, as you all know, the Philippines has been through a terrible tragedy. Uh, Typhoon Yolanda uh, destroyed a big part of the country. Many people are homeless. Uh, the, there's a desperate need uh, for funds in the Philippines to rebuild uh, what has been destroyed uh, by this tragic weather occurrence. But knowing the Filipino people as I do, and with the help of all of us in the United States, whether we're Filipino or whatever group we come from, I know that the Philippines will recover and be stronger than it ever was because that's the nature of the Filipino people. Manny Pacquiao has epitomized what it means to be a Filipino, how one has to have pride in what one does, one has to stand up for what is right, one has to take positions whether they're sometimes popular or not. And one has to have embedded within it the mo motto, never quit. Always keep going, always give your best, and always rise to, your t to the top. So it's a pleasure to introduce former eight-time champion of the world, a congressman from Sarangani, Please welcome Congressman Manny Packard. Good morning, everybody. First, I would like to thank God for a uh, good day. And thanking everybody. This is the top front promotion, Bob Arum, uh, HBO pay per view, uh, in gym. And to all the media and press, thank you so much uh, to all your support. Without you, we're not here. One thing that I can, I can assure this fight that it's going to be a good fight is uh, both of us, we have something to prove for this fight. Uh, I respect Bradley. Um, he's a nice guy also. And, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's improved a lot of his, um, his, his boxing ability since uh, uh, the last fight that we had. And he proved that um, on Marcus fight and, uh, and um, Ruslan, Ruslan uh, fight. And uh, I think this coming April 12th is going to be a good fight and more action in the ring. And, of course, we don't know who's going to win because we don't, I mean, uh, uh, we never know. Only God knows what's going to happen or tomorrow. So what we're going to do is we, we have to train hard and prepare our present condition. And like what I said, uh, I really thank Paul to God that I have, I have another chance to get um, to fight aggressiveness and to have a strength back 
like what I what I did in, in the last fight with the Rios. So um, I assure that the, the Manny Pacquiao, the, the aggressiveness, and the young Manny Pacquiao, you will see on April 12th in my God's place. Thank you so much. Two years ago, when we did this fight for the first time, I think it's fair to say that Timothy Bradley was not a household name. He had appeared on some uh, premium cable cards. Uh, he did a fight that was supposed to be a defining fight against Alexander in some out-of-the-way barn in uh, Michigan. <laughs> and really, he wasn't that well known uh, by the public. But look how things have changed. He fought Manny Pacquiao uh, in 2012, and in 2013 had a spectacular year that announced to the public who Timothy Bradley really is, a great warrior, participant in the fight of the year with Ruslan Provotnikov. Consensus, everybody's choice for fight of the year. And then a hard work won uh, decision victory uh, to retain his title against Juan Manuel Marquez uh, last fall. So everybody now knows who Timothy Bradley is. And that's why when we made this fight, we were confident because we're presenting a competitive fight to you and a fight that will <coughs> feature as one of the two participants this great undefeated young man who is everything a sport wants. He's well spoken, he's humble, he does everything correctly and he is a real model for athletes all over, and we at Top Rank are very proud to promote him. Please welcome the welterweight champion of the world, Timothy Brown. First of all, I want to give the honor and all praises to God for allowing, allowing me to stand here before all of you. Then I would like to thank uh, my wife and my family for uh, always supporting me and believing in me. I want to thank my trainer, my father, my mother, Team Bradley, um, for all the hard work we put in and just believing in me as well. I want to thank uh, all of the media. Thank you so a lot. <laughs> this fight's definitely bigger than the first one. Um, thank all the media for coming out. Of course, I want to thank my promoter, top rank Bob Arum. I also want to thank HBO Pay Per View. HBO is, uh, I feel, is one of my, my favorite network. Um, I want to thank Pacquiao, and I just want to thank Pacquiao and his whole team for, uh, you know, coming to terms to make this fight happen. Um, this fight is basically redemption for me. Um, I feel deeply in my heart that I won the first fight, and I know everybody out here don't feel that I won the fight. I know they don't feel I won the fight, but uh, didn't get any didn't get any credit for the first fight. So uh, this fight is basically redemption for me. Uh, I'm gonna beat Manny back out to get the credit that I didn't get in the first fight, and that's the bottom line. Uh, Manny said he's going to be the fierce Manny Pacquiao from before when we, when we first came on the scenes. And that's the Manny Pacquiao I want to see April 12th. That's the Manny Pacquiao I want to see. I want to fight nothing, nothing but the best fighters in the world. And I prove out every time I step out there in the ring that I'm one of the best fighters in the world. And I beat everybody that they put in front of me. And April 12th is not going to be an easy task, but I feel at the end of the day, I will be victorious once again. Thank you very much. 
Excuse me, how long are you going to come in? I can't. Yeah, you got to come in and talk to the table. I may have to fly to the training table. I got it. Not too far away. They might try to do me more. <laughs> I'm not going to face off? <laughs>